<laughs> namaste. Uh, many blessings and much love to you today. I am Jessica Amos. I am a meditation and mindfulness teacher, a uh, joy and fulfillment coach, a punk rocker, and I'm the founder of Stay With Yourself, the practice of being who you are, where you are. And I am here today to talk about inner peace, um, why you don't have inner peace, and uh, some ways in which you can get it. <laughs> um, I know from um, many, many years of suffering from chronic anxiety and um, doing everything I can to grasp and control life and, and make it everything that I want it to be in this moment, that um, it doesn't work and that's no way that, um, that any of us enjoy living. So um, a little bit of, of background for me is I've, I've really had a lot of anxiety most of my life. And uh, anxiety for me manifested as as needing as needing control of as of being pretty controlling in my life and and really anal and really type A and really just um, everything needing to be exactly as it is in order to feel like um, I at least knew what to expect I knew how things were gonna go and and for all of us anxiety can can manifest differently for some of us our anxiety manifests as chaos right <laughs> um, and however it is um, it, um, it can it can kind of build on itself and continue to uh, make us more and more anxious because now things are chaotic or now I realize that even though I'm trying to control everything I don't have control of everything um, and I hit a point, I hit a point, I mean, I kind of started sort of waking up and practicing boundaries and, and really examining my codependency and, and all kinds of things. I started that journey probably about 15 years ago, but, um, when I really started to realize that even with all of this work, this deep work I'm doing, I'm still really anxious and I'm still really controlling and I don't really like how I'm showing up in the world that's when I decided um, that I needed to actually start pursuing peace. And so I did uh, the <laughs> Deepak Chopra and Oprah 21 day meditation challenge. Uh, back in 2012, I started going to uh, yoga um, at a local yoga studio. I started journaling. That's when I picked up the artist way and I started spending time um, reflecting and, and choosing these activities, uh, these practices for uh, creating inner peace. And so that, that combined with the work I was already doing to release codependency uh, really <laughs> landed me in this place where I realized that so much of my anxiety and my lack of inner peace came from looking outside myself for who I should be. And this is how I grew up, and I think a lot of people grow up this way, is we're kind of looking to the adults around us and the, the big humans and the people for, um, for what we should do and how we should be. And, and it's just... It's a part of it's a part of our conditioning for most of us that we end up looking outside ourselves for approval, for acceptance, for love, and because the people around us are also just humans and they are inconsistent and they are anxious and they have all their stuff, there's never like a solid grounding point for us in order to feel safe because one minute it's one thing and another minute it's, it's another thing. The only thing we can actually count on, the only thing that never changes is that, is that everything is always changing. <laughs> so we end up feeling really anxious. And I know for me, that's what happened. So for the peace that I still seek, that is still a process and still a learning journey for me, is learning to look inside myself, to go inward, to stay with myself, so to speak, and find the answers, the wisdom, the enoughness, the okayness, the solidness that is already within me, 
and ground myself to that and look to that because everything around me is already changing. Every person around me is changing in any given moment. And looking to that and trying to tie myself to these ever-changing movements around me is only tossing me back and forth and there's no centering point and there's no grounding point in any of that. So um, I know the title for, for this video is <laughs> Why You Don't Have Inner Peace and How to Get It, um, which sounds, <clears throat> you know, really strong statement. But I do want to make that strong statement. I think there is a really clear reason, I believe fully, that if all of us could stop looking outside of ourselves for approval, if we could stop giving ourselves away and putting our well-being into the hands of other people, if we could stop waiting for everyone else to read our mind or do the thing that we wish they would do because but we don't really want to say it, if we can start speaking up and saying what we asking for what we want and we need, not because we expect other people to give that to us, because we are fully capable of giving it to ourselves, but because we believe we are valuable and worthy of asking for what we want and need, if we can begin to do this, we begin to find peace because we know that we are not putting our hearts, our well-being in the hands of other people. And it also really does away with blame and resentment because you're not looking to other people to make things better for you, right? You can't blame people and you can't resent people when you know that you are fully responsible for your own well-being, your own centeredness, your own choices, and your own life. So I offer that to you today <laughs> and I also offer it with a lot of grace and a lot of compassion. If you are beginning to realize that you have been a people pleaser and you've been codependent and you've been looking outside yourself for approval and okayness and enoughness and validation and all those things, that's okay. That's, that's what so many of us have learned. That's just what you learn to do. But there is another way. And that is what I do. That is what I do as a meditation and mindfulness teacher. That is what I help with. That is what I do as, as a coach when I work with people. And so I invite you, please leave a comment. Let me know what you're feeling. Let me know if this resonates with you. Let me know a little bit about your journey to inner peace. What do you do to get to that place of centeredness within yourself? How are you growing? How are you changing? all of these things. I would love to hear about them from you. In the meantime, <laughs> may you stay with yourself today and always wishing you a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Lots of love to you.